Now let us execute Prim's algorithm on a given graph. Okay, now see this is the graph given. So graph G1, it is having uh, seven nodes and it is undirected weighted graph. So these are the weightages given. Okay, so this is my Prim's algorithm. I shall execute my Prim's algorithm on this particular given graph with the seed element, with the seed element as one. So seed element means the first element from where the minimum spanning tree will grow. So that seed element has been supplied. Let us consider, let it be one. So now this is my tracing. So we shall go for this. Okay. Now t is equal to phi. So at first the t is equal to phi is there. And then we are having this b an arbitrary member of n. So b is having one at first as, as we have planned that b will be having the seed element at first. So that is one in this case. So okay. So the, so we have discussed this one. Okay. While b is not equal to n. So until b is is going going on including all the vertices how many vertices are that there seven vertices so until b is accumulating all the seven vertices inside so this algorithm will be continued find e u comma v of minimum length such that u will be belonging to b and v will be belonging to n minus b so now you see from one what is the minimum weightage age you are having so that thing that is one that is one two so i should consider this particular age and this particular new node will be included in b so two has got in included in b union in b with b and now t is equal to t union e so this is the age we have considered next from one and two what is the minimum age we are having so from one and two we are having 2, 3 with the weightage of 2. You see 2 is included in B but 3 is not included in B. Obviously 3 is in N. So that's why you should consider this one. So 2, 3. So next age will be 2, 3 and this 3 will be union with this B. So from 1, 2, 3 what is the out, uh, outward age? What is the age which is connecting another unconsidered vertex? So here we are having 1, 4. Also, we can have another tie has occurred. So, that is my 1, 2, 5. So, that is why we'll, we can resolve the tie arbitrarily. So, I shall go for 1, 4. So, 1, 4 has been taken and 4 has been unioned. So, you are taking this 1, 4. So, this particular age will be union with the solution T and this 4 will be union with B. So, that is why 4 has come here. So, 4 is the new node. Okay. Now, from 1, 2, 3, 4. What is the age we should take? I think that is 4, 5. I think that is 4, 5 with the weightage of 3. So we, we, are, we are going for this 4, 5 and 5 will be unioned here. So now we are having this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. From 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, what is the age? What is the age you are having? And that is a 4, 7. That is a 4. Because 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, we are having this 4 because 4 is connecting for this particular weightage is in between the nodes 4 and 7 where 7 is not already there but 4 is already there in our b so we shall take this 4 and 7 and 7 has got included accordingly so now we are having 1 2 3 4 5 7 1 2 3 4 5 7 i think 6 is the only node we are having so which is not included in b here this weightage is 8 here this weightage is 6 and here this weightage is 3 so i should consider this age 6 7 so i should consider this age 7 6 or 6 7 because they are undirected so i'm just taking this one here so now you see b has grown which is equal to n so this particular while will terminate and this return t so this this these are the respective edges in the t and they will be they will be returned and that is the minimum spanning tree obtained through prim's algorithm what are the edges so that is my 1, 2, 2, 3, 1, 4 and 4, 5, 4, 7, 7, 6, 4, 7, 6. So this is my minimum spanning tree. 
So we have discussed in the earlier video what is Prim's algorithm. In this video, we have traced the Prim's algorithm on a given graph and we have shown what is the solution obtained from the Prim's algorithm. Thanks for watching this video.